International arrivals shrunk by a staggering 40% in 2021, a year during which the local travel industry was effectively shut down for almost five months. 37 facilities closed, closed shop completely. And the estimates are that 9,000 jobs have been lost in the tourism industry. Tourism contributes about 10 to 15 percent to the country's GDP. But because of COVID-19, it's been recorded that it was contributing 4 to 5 percent. In recent weeks, vaccine rollout has been stepped up, land borders reopened, and most restrictions lifted, which should help the industry rebound. Beginning of the year, it's, we call it green season, where things are generally very low and uh, uh, arrivals very low. But as we get out of the rain season, which is where we are now, going into what we call the winter season, the tourism season, uh, we now start to experience more and more arrivals, which therefore means that it gave enough lead time for people to prepare and make the right decisions because restrictions were lifted at the very beginning of the year. So come the peak season, July to uh, October, November, uh, we'll see a very good uh, recovery path for our industry. There are also incentives to support ailing players. We have also advocated through the Minister of Finance that they get back or that they retain all their foreign currency that they charge from the tourists 100% so that they pick up from where they ended, so that they boost their businesses. The government has begun encouraging all tourism operators, including the smallest ones, to register formally with the tourism authority to be eligible for some of the concessions that it's availing. To this end, the long-awaited tourism satellite account is being implemented. That account will help us record everyone, everyone who's operating. So now we go around in the provinces educating them. But the next round will be a base. You are not registered, we force you to register because we need to know what exactly the, the industry is contributing. Available statistics about the sector are unreliable owing to a high number of non-compliant operators and the damage wrought by COVID-19 over the last two years. Farai Makutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.